How do you tell the difference between a grasshopper versus cricket? Grasshopper and cricket are commonly confused with one another. Although both grasshoppers and crickets belong to the same insect order, they have different appearances, behavior, and food sources. Do both insects have wings? Which insect can jump farther? Are they both active at the same time of day? Here's key grasshopper versus cricket differences to help you distinguish between these insects. So make sure to watch until the end. Most crickets range from shades of brown to nearly black, while grasshoppers come in a variety of green, brown, or gray hues. Both have powerful back legs that allow them to hop for great distances. Species There are over 11,000 species of grasshopper. Scientists believe there are many more types of grasshoppers around the world that haven't been discovered yet. As for crickets, there are over 2,400 species in existence. Both of these insects live throughout the world except in Antarctica. Chirping While both insects make a high-pitched chirping sound, they do it in different ways. Both crickets and grasshoppers make sounds to communicate. Both insects have wings and use them in making a chirping noise. Crickets chirp by rubbing their wings together. Alternatively, a grasshopper makes a chirping sound by rubbing one of its hind legs against the front part of its wing. Color Grasshoppers tend to be multicolored and have patterns on their wings, legs, and abdomen. Common grasshopper species range from gray, brown, and green to bright red, yellow, and orange. Crickets are typically tan, brown, or black with hardly any distinct markings. They are often smaller than grasshoppers. Length Most grasshoppers have longer bodies than crickets. Depending on the species, grasshoppers can grow up to four or more inches in length. Most crickets, on the other hand, typically have a body length under two inches. Head and antennae. Grasshoppers have tall heads with an oval or rectangular shape to them. Crickets have rounded heads with two long, hair-like antennae sticking out to the sides. Grasshoppers have short antennae while crickets have long antennae. The antennae of grasshoppers stick upward from the top of their head, are segmented, and tend to be thicker than cricket antennae. In addition to using their antennae as feelers to navigate their surroundings, crickets use them to fight. Leg size. Crickets have shorter, thicker hind legs than grasshoppers. When viewed from above, a cricket's legs are splayed outward like a frog's. Grasshopper's legs are much longer and thinner. For the most part, jumping or flying away are the primary defenses for both insects. Though anything with a mouth is capable of biting, and grasshoppers and crickets can bite you. Both grasshoppers and crickets can jump a long distance. Cricket can jump the farthest. A cricket is able to jump 3 feet while a grasshopper can jump a distance of 2.6 feet. Wing Shape Crickets have much smaller wings than grasshoppers. A cricket's wings are not capable of sustained flight, but may be used to assist with hopping. Their wings lie flat against their backs and are used mostly for chirping. Grasshoppers have long wings that can extend past their bodies when fully developed, as seen in locusts. They also use their wings when hopping and migrating. Activity Period these two insects are active at different times. Grasshoppers can be seen outside jumping and moving around during the day. They are out looking for flowers and stems to eat. 
Crickets sleep during the day and are active at night. Most cricket species are nocturnal. So, if you hear chirping somewhere in your room or home at night, it's most likely a cricket. Diets. Although both grasshoppers and crickets are occasional omnivores, they prefer plants. They will devour leaves, stems, seeds, pods, or fruits. It's fine out in the wild, but can be devastating for your produce or flower gardens. They will also eat decaying leaf matter from the forest floor. If there aren't enough plant food sources to go around, grasshoppers and crickets are just as satisfied to eat smaller live insects, dead ones, or decaying animal carcasses. Damage Both crickets and grasshoppers can cause a lot of damage to gardens, crops, and natural resources. In particularly bad years with large grasshopper infestations, it is possible for the insects to destroy 20% or more of an area's crops. Swarms of crickets can also devastate fields of crops and cost millions of dollars in loss. While they prefer alfalfa, wheat, corn, and soybeans, they can also cause damage to other crops, trees, or residential gardens when there is a very large grasshopper population. Crickets and grasshoppers often do coexist in natural environments with enough resources. So, if you're lucky you might find both crickets and grasshoppers in your yard. That's all for today. Please share your experiences in the comments. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more to come, and we'll see you on another videos.